So Tom, we've talked about the grip, we've talked a little about the posture, where are we going next? So now we're going to go to the body pivot, okay? Now the pivot is the lifeblood of the swing, okay? If we can get the body pivot right, that means we can transfer our weight correctly throughout the golf swing and maximize the power that we can put through the ball. Okay. okay, so I've got another exercise that we can go through here. So if you just get yourself into that nice new golf posture that we've got set up for you. Yep, absolutely. Okay. I'll go through my routine. That's it, go through your process, very good. Perfect, and then lift the club up so that it's across your chest and cross your arms over. Okay. Like so, perfect. Okay, here we go. So this stick's gonna go at 45, and this one's gonna go just out here, okay? Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do now is as you rotate and coil your body, Okay, the shaft of the club is going to match the stick that's here and you're going to have your hips coiling 45 degrees. Okay, so if you rotate now, perfect. You can see that the hips match that line perfectly and the club sits over. Now, what's really important with the pivot as well now is, is the weight should feel like it's in your right leg and right heel. Mm -hmm. Is that the case? Definitely. Good, okay. So inside sort of inside of my right foot. Yes. And it's sort of in the ball of the foot. Absolutely right. And the shoulders in this position will have turned 90 degrees and the hips 40. So you've now got 135 degrees of coil loaded behind the ball to force into speed, into impact. So does that look about right, Tom? Yeah, that's perfect. So your hips are matching that 45 degree line here. Shaft's there at 90. So you're now in a perfect backswing position. Mm. Okay, you've coiled around your center, all of the weights into your right side. Now from there now, what we're going to try and do is match up the same 45 degree turn on the way through. Okay. okay, so as you transfer your weight, you're going to go into that knee first and your hips are just going to very simply unwind and follow that same line as before. Finishing nice and tall, your weight's transferring onto your left and you're balancing this anchor point here on your right tiptoe. Nice tall finish, perfect. <sighs> That is hard work, actually, that drill. I can really yeah. feel muscles that are turning and, and tighter than I probably they probably should be. Because yeah. we do work as humans in linear, well, motion, don't we? We don't yeah. tend to walk around day to day turning. So it's very worthwhile practicing a drill like this. Absolutely, yeah. And you make a great point. Unless you're a master multitasker, uh -huh. it's really good to do this drill without the golf club and ball. Yeah. I need to stay here for a little bit longer, but we've got to crack on with the rest of the videos. Hopefully some tips there that can help you optimize that turn, that coil within your own golf swing.